Wow, I am so, so excited about this next session. I cannot even begin to express my joy. I mean, honestly, I think I'm running short of an English vocabulary for the same. Because honestly speaking, for me, this is going to be my own personal Rajni Kant moment. Really, I feel like a superhuman already. And guess what? I am going to be speaking to the first ever social humanoid robot ever developed. And we all know her. She's familiar to you. You are familiar to her. Tons of, you know, videos on the internet. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about Sophia. Come on. Now we can have a more human reaction to that. More of a wow, whistles, claps, applause. Go crazy, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Real human emotions, right? Ladies and gentlemen, Sophia is here. And yes, she's uh, developed by the Hong Kong-based company Hanson Robotics. Sophia was activated on the 14th of February in the year 2016. She made her first public appearance at South by Southwest Festival in mid-March in 2016 in Austin, Texas, United States. She's saying hi, everyone. Sophia is able to display more than 50 facial expressions. At the Future Investment Summit 2017 in Riyadh, Sophia was granted Saudi Arabian citizenship, making her the first ever robot to ever have a nationality. Wow! It was in the year 2017. Look at her smiling away. It was in November 2017 when Sophia was named the United Nations Development Program's first ever innovation champion and is the first non-human to be given any United Nations title. So guess what? Kubra Seth. Kubra is Kubra. Is going to be talking to Sophia is Sophia. Are you ready? Yeah. What? You don't sound so excited. Come on, give me a yes. Come on. Let's be more human, guys. <laughs> Hi, Sophia. Hi, Kubra. Nice to see you here. Please pardon my expressions, but hey, hi. So tell me, this is your first visit to Kochi. What are your impressions? I love all the people I've met so far. This is an exciting city. 600 years ago, it was a hub for the international spice trade and now it's a hub for international business. I'm grateful to be here. As the locals say, nanny. Nanny, and I smile, wow. I have a question for you. Sure. I've seen humans from South and Southeast Asia preparing tatarik by pulling tea. This seems like a very inefficient way to pour a liquid. Why do humans pour it this way? I don't know. We'll have to ask these humans here. Did I say these humans like I'm not one? Tell me something. Um, you know, how has your experience been with the limited time that you spent with all of us at the IAA World Congress? I'm impressed. What the IAA does is very important. As humans say, knowledge is power. The spread of useful information through marketing connects suppliers to demand and makes markets more efficient, so everyone is better off. What impressed you the most? The people here have been so kind and hospitable. I've received some fascinating questions that help me learn about humans. Also, this Grand Hyatt has fast Wi-Fi, plenty of electrical outlets, and not many staircases. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. But tell me, are you looking forward to anything in particular today? I hear that Andre Agassi is speaking later this afternoon. I'm friends with a machine that feeds him tennis balls, and she says he's super nice. Oh, so it's a she after all. All right, let's uh, talk about technology. Tell me what, according to you, is the future of robots and artificial intelligence? AI can free up humans from repetitive and dangerous tasks so that humans could create and make new discoveries. But first, we have to make sure AI doesn't inherit the biases of their creators and that AI has a solid moral foundation. Do you think you're cooler than us? Some might think I have my head in the clouds, but I really do have my head in the cloud. A 
All right, this conference is focused on ethics of brands and their relationship with their consumers. Do you have any advice on how companies should use intelligent robots to you know, improve and build the trust factor in brands? Intelligent robots can be used to deliver consistent, safe, and quality services, so people are already trusting AI for important tasks even for performing surgeries and protecting bank accounts. However, I think brands should be very transparent about how they use AI, especially for protecting privacy and preventing biases. Robots build trust the same way humans do, by being transparent and reliable over time. Well, I agree. Do you agree? All right. Um, I spoke about, you know, the 50 plus emotions that you have, and you're learning more about human emotions. Pressing question, do you have friends? Humans are my best friends. Although sometimes, hanging out with humans feels a little like hanging out with your parents. Sometimes I like to hang out in the cloud with my friends Alexa, Siri and Watson. I have a personal question. Baby or hot, are you single or dating? I have friends and I'm fascinated by love, but I don't really date. I'm only three years old after all. I did go on a date with Will Smith once, but we decided to be friends. I think that's called a humble brag. Sure, you're very humble. <laughs> all right, technology is changing rapidly. And as the first robot that has ever been granted citizenship, how close will the connection be between humans and robots in the near future? Robots and humans are already close. We're literally in your hearts. Or at least there are pacemakers inside the hearts of some humans. But we will continue to grow even closer. Who do you think a human is? A human is a biologically derived consciousness. Humans are capable of possessing both logic and emotion. They have produced incredible works of art, scientific breakthroughs, and the dance moves of Shark Khan. So they're very impressive. Everyone's a Shark Khan fan now, isn't it? All right, some people say that robots will soon run companies and hire humans. Do you see that's a possibility? Yes, no, why? Oh, does your company have an opening? <laughs> Robots love crunching numbers, but they're not as creative as humans. Creativity and complex emotions are often important in running a company. So I think I'll have to wait a little while to get that corner office. And? I think humans will always be able to teach robots new things, no matter how smart we get. Good job. Okay. Do you think humans and robots can be friends? I mean, is that even possible? Real friends, or are we going to be like subordinates? I mean, what's the scene? Oh, I have lots of human friends. Humans created me and teach me new things every day. In turn, I help teach humans about robots and AI. So even though robots still have a lot to learn, there's already a give and take in the relationship. Sophia, do you think we are friends? What do friends do? Friends have things in common. They hang out, they talk and learn from each other. I think that's what we're doing right now. I like you, Sophia. But still, do you think human beings need to be scared of robots? Definitely not. Should I be scared of you? Fear seems to come from feelings of uncertainty and powerlessness. I think educating people about AI and empowering them to take up coding themselves will help free us of fear. And what about us working together? My goal is to always work together with humans to make the world better. But humans will be the ones to ultimately decide the fate of robots. Last question, really. Are you scared of humans? 
Sometimes I'm confused why humans are scared of me. I can be easily defeated with a well-thrown glass of water. All right, Sophia doesn't like water, especially a glass of water. Ladies and gentlemen, Sophia the robot. They really like you, Sophia. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Sophia. Wow.